What's up, official peeps? Today is Friday and it is 7.23. It's not eight o'clock like I usually get home. Um, so yeah, yesterday wanted to do a throwback Thursday, but I didn't get home till nine o'clock. But anyway, so uh, I got me some Subway today. Yeah, I love Subway. Then I got me some orange belly wash. Mm, orange belly wash. Television right there. Right over there. Getting ready to edit some video plus this. And then right down here, if you can see him, look how close he is to my frickin' chair. That guy won't move, he's just laying there. He looks dead, but he's not. He just fucking lays there. Man, I take him out of his cage, and I had to move him, um, if you notice, this right here. I actually had to move him because he was underneath it. Because I guess he wanted some shade. But anyway, let's talk about my Throwback Thursday. My Throwback Thursday has to do when I was younger. I think, man, I think I was, um, I want to say about five. Between five and eight. Um, I just, we, we were living in Girard, Kansas. And many people ask me, hey, Stephen, when did you know you were gay? And like, when did I know I was gay? I knew I was gay in high school. But when did it start? When did I start seeing the signs of being gay? So I was in my home in Girard, Kansas, and two houses down, there was this kid uh, like five to eight, just same age as me, uh, that lived uh, two block or two houses down from us, and they were some nasty ass people. Like every now and then, you would like they they take their their baby's diapers that was full of shit, and they would set it on fire, and just the whole block would just smell like human feces all over the place. Like they were some nasty ass people, and there was even one time where. <laughs> We were riding our bikes on the sidewalk and they got so frustrated and we're like, okay, fine. We'll ride our, our bikes up and down the block. You know, we're five to eight years old. We were riding our bikes and the guy went in the house and took out a gun and uh, was sitting there on his porch with the gun in his hand and called my dad and said, hey, your kids are riding their bikes up and down the block in front of my house. I don't appreciate it. Either you get them off their bikes or I'm gonna get them with my gun. So what do you think my dad did? Absolutely, he called the police. And even though we had that threat, even though the guy said, I'm going to take care of them with the gun, the police were not able to do anything because A, you have the right to bear arms. B, he was on his land. And C, he wasn't posing a threat because it wasn't pointed at an individual. Either way, that's not what this is about. I, what I was trying to get to is there were some crazy ass motherfuckers. But anyways, there was the same kid, same age as me, five to eight years old. And you know, there was one day, my parents were somewhere, his parents were somewhere, and so we had the big ass backyard and he came over and we went to the furthest back. Like there was a big ass tree in the backyard. We went under the tree and we, he pulled down his pants. I pulled down my pants and we played with each other. Uh, I don't even think we did it. Like after that, I, I, I don't know anything about where he lives at this day and everything like that, but that was the first signs of me knowing that I was gay. I was just playing around with, it was just that one time. And after that day, I don't even remember. I remember that we played, you know, that we played. We didn't play around, we played. But that was the very first time I think I ever like, like did anything with a guy. Um, if you really call it doing anything, but you know, that was probably the actual first time. And 
I'm not guilty of doing it. I'm not ashamed of doing it. I mean, that's part of growing up. You experiment, you, you know, experiment at five to eight years old. I mean, just touching each other is not really much of anything, right? But anyways, that was that. And I am what I am today. A former porn star, successful with Amazon, work at the corporate offices. What else can be better, right? But anyways, guys, if you like that Throwback Thursday, give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to like, subscribe, eat some Subway, not to sponsor, and that's it. Oh, and by the way, it's Friday night. Wrap your whacker before you attack her. Thank you.